Hi, welcome back. Here we are, video 15 already. Um, I said at the end of the last one we were all done on the hull and ready to start the masts, but I missed a bit. And it's just a little tiny drawing here on the side, number 68, which I missed. They call them the channels. As far as I'm concerned, they're chain whales. And they are these bits here. So it's just a matter of cutting them out, sanding them, sanding the back edge to shape to the hull. Might be a little bit to just get the right curve and the, the angle. So there's three of them, one for the foresail, one for the main, and one for the mizzen. And then there is bit to put on the front of that one. But dead easy to do. And then I've given it a coat of varnish and it looks Quite nice, I think. Um, but there we go. Um, after this video, I'll be taking a week's break. It is Easter. So uh, it'll be the last one. I've started on one of the masts. Last one, it'll only be for a week. Um, you may have guessed, but I work on the living room, or well, the dining room table. I don't have a workshop. And my wife has insisted we have the table back for Easter. So. There we go. Can't argue with that. Um, started one of the masts and varnished it. I've done this in light oak. Um, I did have a different one. I tried one or two on here. That's obviously too light. It, it's going to look awful on the whole there. Um, I had that one, which was mahogany. And... Um, Another oak one there, which was uh, just too dark. Uh, these bits on the ends, I'll explain those to you. Paint's dry now. Uh, these are probably the hardest bits you're going to have to do. And they are these bits that go across there. I'm not sure what they call them. Well, there's all the mast pieces. They're all pretty self-explanatory. It's all in Italian, but you can put it all into Google Translate if you want to know what it says. Uh, but I haven't. I've got them all. What I've done to start with is mark them all out on all the different dowels that we've got. So I've just marked, marked each one to length and marked it with the number. So I know I've got them all. So they're all down there. And then I started assembling this. But these things, they're made of metal. And they've got like this, I don't know if you can see that, bead around the, the edge of them. And you've got to get these eyes in either side. So what I've done there is I've used a little square file and uh, flattened that, that off so it was easier to drill and then just drill just a little way into each one I didn't bother blacking these eyes I just stuck them in with super glue and then I've um, just painted over them with an acrylic black missed a bit as they say but anyway they you might find those quite hard to do as I did thankfully they're done this is the main mast. Um, the foremast is exactly the same, so I'll take you through that step by step. Um, but these bits all cut out, these these cross bits here, and then these other cross bits are just two by two. Uh, some little holes to mark here for the rigging, three holes to drill on each side, um, the ends to square off, and little holes to drill through for the rigging. That's it really. And then there's obviously another top mast to go on there as well, which I'll carry on with. Um, but yeah, so we'll carry on. I'll show you how to do all this in the next bit of the video. So we're back again and I've completed the main mast. 
I'll put a couple of little bits and pieces. There we are. Not fastened together yet, but at least it's completed. So I've got to clean up. Wipes orders. And like I say, this mast, the main mast is virtually complete. And everything on there. Top gallant's done. Past trees rather. And the top mast. So I'll take you through the foremast. And then like I said at the beginning, there won't be one next week. I'm in a week off. So I've got all the bits and pieces of masts here. Um, to get the right way up. All cut, well not cut, but they're all marked out. And um, we need to find the ones now for the foremast. As you can see, this is the same for both. So it's marked with 171 and 176, and 170 and 175. And then I've worked out that Maestro is main. Mezana has got to be the mizzen. So Trinchetto must be foremast. But we'll check that as we go. So we need one seven five. Which should be marked somewhere. And there it is. One seven five. We'll cut that. These thicker ones I use with the needle saw. But the smaller ones, the thinner ones, you can do with a knife. Just roll the knife backwards and forwards on it. Okay, that's easy. And we need to mark the top section of it, which you can see is square. So that top piece is square. I just line this up with the lines on the board. And then just roll this across, and then with the knife, do the same thing basically. But I've got a line to work to. And just cut part way through and then if you've got one of these we just start paring away again line everything up keep the blade flat and don't slip into your fingers just keep it parallel to the to the board Let me go make sure it's parallel. And don't take too much off. You can always take a bit more off, but you can't put it back on. There we go. And then if you turn it over. And make sure that flat is against the board and then you can do the same the other side yeah do the same that way keep that flat i noticed on my last video i've got a couple of thumbs down for some reason 
if there's something somebody watching that wants to give it a thumbs down then that's fine but leave a comment as to why then I'll know put it right for you there we are and then the same thing the other way but this time you've got to make sure that those two sides are vertical I'll just check over the top make sure they're vertical then and do the same again because of the grain of the wood you'll find it easier one way than it is the other and this is the more difficult way it's wanting to slip out again keep it vertical also with your knife blade you need to keep the beveled side downwards so it's wanting to come out if you put it that way it will dig in so keep the bevel side down and again the same the other way but you can use that flat now and we'll just check it the size on the plan That's not far off actually. So then I just need to smooth it off. So we just get the sanding block. Use 120 for this, 120 grit. And then just each side. going to use the board as a guide to keep it flat there we are job done I made the mass to the size of the plan but this didn't fit on the square piece so I had to put in two little pieces in there one each side of one by three to fill the gap. I checked all these little pieces and they're all the same size, they're all the same centers between the slots. So just had to put that little piece in there, one by three. So we've got these cheeks supports and This bit and two of those there for the top and this bit now on here this has got some holes in it for the rigging so just offer this up to the plan and mark those that's those marked then I'll start these off with a very small drill and a hand drill because it's right on the edge and trying to put an electric drill in there it's just going to go all over the place There. So that's got those drilled. And then we need to sand all these bits off, get all the black off the outsides. A bit stuck in there. So we'll sand all these off and then it's just a matter of uh, sticking them together. We need a couple of bits of 2b2 to go through these. here so we've got the 2b2 and it's actually these two pieces we need and 
two of those. Sundered. I won't glue those yet because we'll make sure it fits on here so we get the centers right. But these have to go on and they're not symmetrical and you need to get the angle right so here you can see everything's at a slight angle on the wrong side really just clear a bit of space so if you can see there not quite symmetrical that way and it's at an angle so the mast is at an angle so you need to line that up and then glue these on in that position making sure you've got that angle correct so glue those on either side and then we'll come back and put the top piece on so that has got those two bits glued onto there, each side, that way around. So the tops are level that way. And that's glued together, and I made sure that that just fits in there nicely. And then that, although it's not set, can actually be glued. onto there, keeping it that way, so you're keeping it fully forward, just make sure the angles are all okay. All right. So I'll put some glue on there. And then we can put that down onto there. There we are. You can check the angles. Check it that way too. Okay. We'll let that set. Make sure everything is absolutely bang in line. All those in line. There. And in line that way. Okay. So while that's setting, we'll take the next piece of the mast, which is. 176 178 176 there we go so there's 176 again I'll use a saw for this one So this one again is squared off at the top, so we need to mark that and do the same thing again with that.
I know there's still quite a lot to do on this one, but uh, I'm starting to think about the next one. Which I said would be the blue nose. Um, it's either that or the full ribbed version of the Mayflower, I think. Having done the Mayflower, I think it might stick to the blue nose. You can let me know what you think. Blue nose will certainly be quicker and it's cheaper. Anybody watching that's just starting, one of the uh, a good model to start with is actually the Scottish made, um, which is planked in softwood and then uh, veneered over, which gives a really nice finish. And you don't have to be so particular with the, uh, the softwood planking underneath. You just sand it off smooth and then put this very thin veneer planks on top to give it a real nice finish. It was one of the first ones I did. I made the silly mistake of selling it. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Dentist chair. So, how to put a taper on the mast? Well, we need the big drill. So, put your mast in the drill. It's this easy. But don't nip it too tight, otherwise you'll mark it. 80 grit paper. Uh, we need to keep checking the plan. See how much to take it down by. And then just steady away. Just hold it. Not too fast, otherwise it will get hot and burn your fingers. that isn't far off. Just compare that to the drawing at that end. It's not bad. I don't know where you can see that. That's pretty good. Maybe take a little bit more off, but that's how to do it anyway. Just go, don't go mad. Yep, that'll do. And then that has to fit in there. Which it does. It goes down plenty far enough. And then obviously that piece has to go in there. I'll take a little bit off that to get that to go in there. Which is very strange because that is actually bang on the size on the plan. So you see the file a bit out of that. Or oh, take some more off that. Or just take a bit off the top. It is only a bit. Yep, I'll do. When we come to glue it. Not until we've done the top. So for this, for the top, I'll go back down again. Similar sort of thing, but you've already got this cut. So you've just got to glue these together. Let's see how this one fits. Terrible. 
same again. So just stick a bit in each side again. Not good, but there we go. So that then goes on there, same as the other one. And we've got the other little square bit, which is easy to fit. I'm going to take the edges off that. That fits on the top. That's not particularly good either. And then we've got the little top mast to fit in there, which is very easy. So I don't need to take you through all that. That's like that. And there's two more little shelves, cheeks, whatever they are, that way up. That go underneath. And there's two eyes to go in either side. Right, so check that, and it was too, too much of a gap in there. So I put a little piece of 1x3 in each side. And then there are two little cheek pieces like these, but the smaller ones. One, two. Again, with this, we need the right angles. Which is here. That really doesn't work. Because there's no room for those. And it's, the plans are terrible. It shows that piece as... Shows that piece as 194. And then it shows that as 194. 194, 194, that is that, 194, I'll sort this out and come back, okay, so what we know is, plans are terrible, so, we've got one, One seven five four mast one seven five four top mast one seven six four mast pole one seven seven that's the top that's the pole one seven seven so that's that one one seven seven that's fine um, the top mast 176 okay this is 176 so it is the one I've made but this top is wrong completely wrong because I've done it to that size but when you look at the plan here of how to assemble the top mast there's no room for these supports. It's got them marked as part of the cross trees, which they are really, these cross trees. So, and just to compare, if you look on the actual plan, this is this is a full scale, this is the full scale plan. This is the foremast, and this is the top top mast. So what we can do is and fold that and put it alongside I don't know you can see this but if we line the tops up there's no way that comes down far enough to the bottom of that cheek there it wants to come down so I'm going to take some more off and on all the others the hole that it's showing going through is through the, the quadrant bit on all of the masts through the quadrant bit, not through the actual mast itself, through the quadrant. So that needs brought down, which I'm going to have to do now. Okay, so I've cut it back. And what I did was I marked it off this. So, held that against the plan. And you can just see the bottom of the cheek there which is set into it there. 
but that's how it should be. Not good plans. So now we need to put these on. Again, it's all about getting the angle right. trees with my glue make sure you get the right way up the tapers at the bottom and again check the angle Square that way. There we are. Simple. And then the top pole, which was seven seven, I believe. One seven seven. There it is. Well, this is so thin you can cut this with a knife. Just leave those there a minute. If you just gently put your knife on and just roll it. And very quickly it goes through. There we are, a little tiny bit. Right, and this one needs to be tapered as well. To be very careful with this. to be any thinner than that to be quite honest and then we have to make sure that fits in there which it does loosely and that has to fit in there which it does and then in these, just in there, I'm just going to put a packer in, just a little block, just to keep that square. And the same on the other one. So that then will go in there. I'll have to take a bit more off that now, will I? Will it go through? It goes to there. The other way around, like that. So that's it. All but a couple of holes that got to be drilled in the mast. All this can be glued together now. All in the right position. And then stained down. So it looks like that one. Just haven't stained the top of that. I've just got that to do. Oh, and I've got to put the... Uh, good idea to put the crow's nest on, wouldn't it? So that needs to go on before that. So just glue that under there. Make sure the holes for the rigging are at the right angle, at the right place. So they need to be 
obviously at the sides and towards the stern you can't see these holes but three there three there so that needs to be on there like that so that's it i'll glue all that together stain it down and probably do the other mast um see if there's any more problems and then I'll be on to the bowsprit which i'll go through with you on the bowsprit but the, the mizzen's the same as this the main was the same as this that's dead easy there's some other cleats some little cleats that's supposed to go on the inside here but i haven't quite worked that out yet but they can go on at a later date so that's it for this one week off have a nice easter and i'll see you when we come back <laughs>